if I find all of me, would I have to come back to earth again? It's very funny how this question came now. Today's video is going to be totally about me. It's going to be a personal story. I don't know if I will have any answers for you. So if you're not interested, just leave this one and wait for tomorrow's new video. I have to explain the story first. My one of my well actually all three of my sisters are psychic. One of them that I talk to the most is extremely psychic and she gets a lot of information in her dreams. And just two days ago she lives in another country far away from me. Just two days ago we were talking on Skype and she told me about a dream she had seen. I usually call this sister to go to my dreamer, the person that is dreaming me, to get information for me because it's always easier for your... Uh, how do I say this? Hang on. I can get information for someone else very easy. It's not so easy to get it for myself. So I always get it for myself through my sister. Anyway, we were talking, she calls me, we were talking, and she tells me that she saw this dream where the time came that all seven of us, we are actually seven siblings, all seven of us were leaving Earth and we were going back to our homes and that she noticed all seven of us were going to a different home. This we kind of knew, we weren't that surprised by this news. But, she says, suddenly I see you, meaning me, you flying towards me, saying, can I come to your home? And I said, why? My sister says, why? And I reply, well, I went to my home, but they sent me back to Earth. And I don't want to go there, damn it. That's exactly the words I used in her dream. I want to come to your home. And she was explaining to me how it's okay with her, but they won't let me in. And she says, at that moment, Earth simply sucked you back in. I was speechless, first of all. And then I said, okay, I need to go to my dreamer and find out why they want to send me back to Earth after I go home. So I go to my dreamer. Actually, I get my sister to go to my dreamer. She has a talk with my dreamer and my dreamer shows her that at my home, I had some sort of position, at least at this point, the point before I left for Earth. I had some sort of position on Earth, we might call it Finance Minister. In England, they call it the Chancellor of the Exchequer, I think. But, I was spending money left, right and center. Obviously, because I did not believe in lack. Did not believe that there isn't enough. And the elders approached me the wise ones, some people call them the ancient ones, and said, listen, you have to go to a reality where there is lack, simply so you can learn a few more things. And then you can come back and have your position back again. Remember, in reality, there's no time. They could send you to Earth for a few lifetimes, and you can go back 10 minutes later because you travel in time just like here on earth we travel from one country to another in more evolved civilizations they can travel in time time is like a place anyway so I was meant to come to earth because it's a reality where lack does exist 
and to learn from this. So I say to my sister, okay, and I'm not getting it. Well, you made a bet with them. You said, okay, if you insist, you always listen to the wise, the wise ones. They simply know. They have been around for thousands of years. They have done it all and they know. You said to the wise ones, okay, if you insist, I'll go to earth, but do you want to make a bet that I'm going to live there the same way I live here? And I came to earth with this bet. And I have been living on earth without the belief in lack. All my life I never believed in lack. And because like attracts like, I have always attracted abundance. Always. When I have cash and even when I don't have cash, I still live comfortably. I still have an abundant lifestyle. So then my sister shows me an image or tells me about the image that the dreamer is showing her that my friends back home are actually looking at me and laughing like, see, he did do it. He said he was going to do it and he did do it. So he won the bet. But behind my friends were the wise ones simply looking at each other and very softly saying, I'm afraid we are going to have to send him back again. So, then I say to my sister, ask my dreamer, should I go back into business? Because business does give you the opportunities to experience lack. Even when the business is doing well, you always have to pay something. You always have to keep up with the payments. And my dreamer answered, it's too late now. You have so believed that there isn't any lack that you cannot play this game. So it won't be real and you won't experience lack. It's not that you have to, but for some reasons, for some reason, the wise ones wanted us to experience this. And this is why you will be sent back. So I asked my dreamer, so you mean we've lost a life? And my dreamer replies, don't worry, we live forever. This was actually one of my biggest fears, not to have to repeat a life, because I see it so often with some of my clients. And I'm trying to convey to them the message that, look, if you do not get this, you're going to repeat a life. Yes, we live forever and ever and ever, but is this what you want to do? So now I'm going to have to repeat a life. So I say to my higher self, okay, what now? And the answer was, now, just be yourself and enjoy it. Forget it. We're not going to get what they wanted us to get from this life. So focus on enjoying it. And just being you. So, why did I say this story? Because the question here is, if I find all of me would I still have to come back to earth? You know what, honey? I thought... Because from every client I learn something about myself, and I have found more and more and more of myself, I thought that after earth, or at least after this life on earth, I would be free to go wherever I like wherever I want and I just found out that I'm not and just like this baby you see this is how I have been for the past two days like what the hell are you talking about so yes I could tell you that if you find more of you there might not be any 
reason to come back to ignorance, to where you don't know who you are. But I could be totally wrong, as I was with myself. Totally wrong. Also, because I know I'm going to be here for a long time, meaning with Earth years, I knew I was going to learn everything I could possibly learn while in a physical body behind the veil. But again, I was wrong. So, I would say keep looking for more of you. Keep getting as many experiences as possible. But we don't know why you were sent here. If you were sent here, maybe you came voluntarily. Most people did. If you were sent here, though, we don't know if you would have to come back or not. So enjoy it. While you're here, enjoy it. Don't focus too much on making sure you don't have to come back. A lot of us have this fear, actually. I hear it a lot from clients. They will ask something like, what do I need to do in order not to have to come back again? And most times, the higher self laughs. Like, why? What's wrong? I think because earth life is so short compared to eternity that the soul kind of giggles with this notion of not have to come back. Like, why? What's the problem about going back? So, I'm coming to terms with this today. Yesterday I did not feel good at all. My body was having some problems yesterday. I felt simply not good, let's put it this way. Today I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm going to have to come back and I'm starting to rethink my life from a perspective of, in that case, let's enjoy it. And I have decided to go totally hedonistic. I always was a little hedonistic, but I was holding back a bit, thinking, okay, this time you've come for something different. But now that I've seen that I have missed the train, my sister kept saying to me, you've missed the train. No, nothing tragic, but you've missed the train. So now since I have missed the train, I'm going totally hedonistic. And all I'm going to do now is focus on the pleasures of the body and focus on getting the body what the body likes. This will be my new life from now, from now on. I asked my dreamer if I can still focus on information and the answer was, it's difficult not to because information is who we are. So I will still be doing this and I will still be doing my vlog And my focus from now on will be 100% on pleasure. Now, this was my story. I'm not saying it's yours. I'm not saying you have to do something like this. I said it so I can give you an example of how we think we are on the right path. We know we are on the right path because we feel very good. This is why I always knew I was on my path, because I felt good. But it's so easy to not be on the original path. It might not be the wrong path. It might simply be, as the wise ones from my home said, we are going to have to send him back again. You see, you think differently when you live forever. So, enjoy your life, guys. Enjoy your life. That's all I can say. Because we simply don't know all 
the details. I have a friend from London who told me once, this is a cruel game. And I was laughing because, yes, I can see it's a cruel game, but it was working for me. So I was just laughing. We were, we were on a bus at that moment and I could not stop laughing. And she was saying, shut up, Eric. It's a cruel game. Right. So that's what I'm seeing now. That it's a cruel game. You might think down deep inside that you are on the right path. And you still may not be on the right path. So I'm going to leave it at this and go and make myself another beautiful cup of coffee.